Here put LCBS Sports. My last week, Trayvon said, you know, players are still getting adjusted or used to your scheme. When you see a play like the Mooney wheel route for a touchdown, what are your thoughts on where your personnel stands with their comfort with your scheme at this point in the season? Uh, again, you'd have to ask them that. I mean, it was man to man. I'm about to do something I rarely do. Something I rarely do. But it needs to be said. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back. Like I never left. Um, did y'all hear Mike Zimmer? Did you hear Mike Zimmer? I know I spend a lot of time blaming Jerry Jones for things. And trust me, Jerry Jones deserves a lot of fault. Because what I'm about to say is still his fault because he picked these players. But he, Will McClay, Stephen Jones, the scouts, whatever. But, you know, we need to start really taking into account our roster's intelligence. Um, there's a lot of things that I always think about. Like, I should drop a video on that. I should drop a video on that. And then I kind of hold back and just kind of talk about the main topics. But in light of our season falling apart, because it has been falling apart, I think I need to start sharing with y'all my, my thoughts and different things that just kind of come up throughout the day. Discussions on Twitter or X or whatever, um, on YouTube in the comments that deserve more light. This one is one I think deserves more light. And it's just a question, a question that you can answer in the comments. I would let them know your thoughts because we got to have a whole lot of open dialogue about our team um, going forward from now until we fix this craziness. Um, almost curse. Mike Zimmer's frustration in that clip says like, you know what I'm saying? A pitch is worth a thousand words. That small clip is worth a million words because he kind of, his frustration is like, yo, we went over that. In training camp, we were playing man. And he's asking, like, yo, what, what was the breakdown? There's no mental breakdown. There was no, it's hard to get the system to that play. We were in man. You should know who your man is. You're a professional NFL player. And I can see his frustration as much as I want to blame Zimmer. Or people want to say, his system's too confusing. Maybe our players are stupid. And I ain't trying to be mean, but it is what it is. And when I say stupid, I mean, sometimes they ain't got nothing to do with just being able to digest or your intellect or your understanding. Sometimes it's effort. Did you take time to understand where you need to be, why you need to be there? Have you put in the work? Are you spoiled and entitled because of the culture that Jerry Jones created? See, see how it comes full circle. Um, the whole I don't have to listen to my coaches. I can go to my owner. The whole, is the coach in charge or is the owner in charge um, of football stuff? That's where the Jerry Jones thing comes in. Did he pick the proper players to understand basic NFL concepts like man coverage? Man coverage. And if you go back and watch some of those Atlanta plays, offensive side of the ball and defensive side of the ball, because this ain't just defense. You start to realize that some of these things like knowing spacing properly in NFL intelligence, intellect, um, knowing when to break your route off, knowing how to run a proper mesh concept. This is practice. This is effort. That's where the coaching comes in. The coaching have to, the coaches have to give you the right information to put you in the right place. The players have to put the effort in to execute. And some of that isn't always on the field. Some of that is actually study, understanding why the play works the way it works. Am I saying that Mike Zimmer's system or Mike McCarthy's system is the best in the NFL? No. But when we have a breakdown on man coverage and there's just straight confusion, that's a problem. And that's a problem we got to figure out. We're probably not going to figure it out in the 2024 season. This is something we have to figure out in the offseason. But I want to look under every stone to fix this trash. I do not want to lie to myself about no parts of this team next year. There will, no, there will be no passes from the quarterback to the coach, to the owner, to the kicker. Well, not the kicker's good. Brandon Aubrey, you still a beast. 
But everyone else needs to be questioned. This is outrageous. And watching his tone, watching his tone is just, his demeanor. Go back, look at the clip, look at it. He is just frustrated. Because I'm pretty sure he's like, yo, they don't get this basic stuff. Look at it from this angle, that's Diggs. Diggs, it's man. He's in man, he's in man. You have Mooney, man to man. What? Go over the top, bro. <laughs> go over the top. Go over the top. Why would you run underneath? You have, who are you mad at? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who are you mad at? Who you who you waving your hand? Who? Who you mad at? Who? Nobody to be mad at right now besides just And I'm confused too. Cause we work we work. Well, I work hard at what I do. You know, this. But do they work hard? Do we stand up for players that ain't putting in the effort and do they deserve to be stood up for? This is beyond soft. This is incompetence, negligence. And from the ownership, arrogance. And I'm not trying to rhyme. All of those words make sense. The players are acting incompetent, not knowing how to do man coverage. My coach Zimmer just looks frustrated. Like, yo, what did I come back to? You know? The ownership is just arrogant and just thinking, man, whatever. We don't make mistakes. And they're negligent and stuff. And when they do stuff like trade for Jonathan Mingo, randomly. When the season seems like it's on the ropes, you sit in draft capital, the stuff that would help fix the team for next year. It's super confusing, but I literally put this up to ask y'all a question, not to take up 10, 20 minutes of your morning. Just tell me what you think. Do you think that our players are, not all, but most or some are incompetent and understand and just not smart football players? I hate that I have to even ask this question. But to see his demeanor, I don't think Zim, I think Zim's holding back. I think he wants to just go crazy, but he probably got like a mandate. Don't be don't be wilding on the players. So do you think that like they just don't understand the concepts or it's what I think? It's not that I think they're stupid. I think the players just ain't been working hard. And it's showing on the field. You got to put in the work and it's showing on the field. But look, it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I just want to ask y'all this quick question. I'll be back with more content later today. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh-huh.